Hello everybody and welcome to It's a Sure Thing, the community collective show that welcomes and has guests involved from everywhere all over the world um, to share their experiences and their passion about what they're doing to make a difference in the world. And when we all show up authentically for ourselves, we're actually doing that individually as well. So we've had a little bit of a break over the Christmas and New Year period. So it's really exciting to be back for 2022 with some incredible people on the show tonight who have opened up in August 2019, it was actually just before things changed, opened up a wellness centre in the city in Adelaide. And they do a number of things, including yoga, events, um, dance therapy. They, they've got um, Adelaide's only salt cave therapy, as well as a flotation um, tank. As And they also do havening technique and they do so many different things. Um, they're open six days a week um, and Wednesdays and Thursdays is late night. So brilliant opportunity to get out, to get into a place that has been purposely built to provide a place that's safe for the community, um, that is all about health and well-being, which is exactly what we're about here on the show as well. So please invite and share, let your friends and family know about us going live right now and hope you can participate and join in by making some comments below and um, we'll answer any questions you've got as we go along. So without further ado, I would love to introduce you to Jim Ryan and Joe Bazina, the owners of Breathe, Stretch, Float. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, Sue. How, How are, are you? you? Good, thank you. All right. So we're going to start with Jim because I know you guys are so passionate and excited about uh, everything that you do. So let's just start with Jim and just talk a little bit about your vision for for breathe stretch flow jim because you came out from from scotland um uh, no ireland the uk <laughs> the uk <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll shut up and i'll let you talk come on <laughs> what, what part of wales are you from <laughs> <laughs> london no <laughs> <laughs> yeah look we our main passion is that we wanted to create a place that provides a connection and it's a place that actually does what it says it's going to do. I found uh, I developed some neurological conditions which were pretty much life changing for me uh, and certain avenues, certain streams, it felt as though there was no connection. Lots of people just wanted to take my money off me and not necessarily provide me with any help or solutions. It was all about the take, take, take. So our main ethos is that you leave feeling better than you arrive. And the minute you walk in the door, you can just go, this is the place. Beautiful. And and you actually do do that really well because I have been in the Salt Cave and it was exactly that. And it was so welcoming. And then, you know, Joe came in all bubbly and excited and, and vibrant, which I just love both of your passion so so joe you you've got a wealth of knowledge you're a yoga instructor and you've you've been in bikini competitions and loads of different things so tell us a bit about yourself please yes. so yeah so i actually started on a my journey later on in life uh took me a while to kick start had a lot of uh body image issues after being bullied for a number of years from being overweight and from all the feelings and emotions that come from that, always wanted to put all of that into knowledge and find out more about what's out there, some really great knowledge, uh, a real knowledge about health, like Jim was saying, not the snake oil stuff because nothing quick and easy is ever something that's long-term and long-lasting. So on my journey, just one day, you know, just found something that was actually working for me, decided I'm just going to do bikini fitness competition. So I did that for a year and a half. Uh, very different lifestyle, completely. Great challenge for me. I loved it. Met some awesome people. And then that furthered my journey um, onto other things. And uh, somewhere along that journey, I then met Jim, 
and together we've made Breeze Stretch Float what it is today, um, which we absolutely love. Um, did my uh, yoga teacher training in 2019 and have done some additional yoga teacher training as well. I love the teachers that we have there in the space. Um, it's a really great opportunity for people when they share that same passion and that sense of love for community and connection, um, then that's what you attract. And our members just do that. Only the other day we had someone saying just, you know, how, how great it is that someone new will come into the space and other members will just automatically introduce themselves, make them feel welcome. So that's always great to know and feel beautiful and and where exactly is your wellness studio we are at 153 flinders street in the cbd okay fantastic and the opening hours we i'm normally there from about 9 30 in the morning monday to friday and yep. leaving around about the five o'clock five o'clock time monday tuesday and friday and there to about nine o'clock on our wednesday and thursday and also Saturday as well between nine and five. Beautiful. And and people can go to your website and they can they can book on your website. They can get all the information about it um, and do it all easily on the website or your Facebook page as well. Um, and also the Enlightened Tribe Global Wellness Directory. Um, mm -hmm. But let, let's have a chat about the Salt Cave because this, this is the one and only amazing salt caves in South Australia. So can you take us through a bit of an experience of the benefits of this salt therapy, please? We've we've lined this cave. We keep lining it with extra salt all the time. <laughs> We're up to about four tons of salt in the room at the moment, but the salt gives it a vibe and gives it an aesthetic that many people love. We get a lot of healers, psychics and mediums who work on a frequency that I don't but they report that they feel energy from the salt. We get lots of people coming in, charging up and cleansing crystals. Uh, but where it really comes into its own from that science background, which I, I love because that means I can speak with confidence, where we have people with asthma, allergies, hay fever, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, coughs, colds, sinus, ear conditions, all of those, as well as skin conditions, the room is magical. We have a client who in 2019 was hospitalized five times a year for up to five weeks at a time. She has chronic lung disease. She was told you have um, three years to live. You have two years to live. She came and visited us and told us that her lung specialist can't do anything. She has a month left to live. She uses the salt room three times a week. She hasn't had one hospitalization since she started using it. She hasn't had a cough, she hasn't had a cold, she doesn't get hay fever symptoms, and a lung specialist hasn't sent one other client with her condition to come and see us. And she's still alive. Yeah, <laughs> bonus. <laughs> wow, that, you know, I love stories like that because it just, it just gives you that confidence to keep going and just to go, that's my why. Yeah. That's why we do this. And if you can help one person like that, absolutely fantastic. So. Yeah, I really do encourage everyone to give it a try because you can either go in with just a couple of people or you also do events in there where you've got somebody that comes in and does sound healing with their yeah. singing bowls in there as well. I mean, whew, talk about magic cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. We we love it in there. And we, we quite often have people coming out and saying, oh, I think I fell asleep in there. <laughs> And it is, it's just, it's, you know, um, we all lead days, you know, lives that, you know, we're rushing about and trying to squeeze everything in and, you know, highly strung and highly stressed. And it's just a beautiful space. As soon as you come in through those doors, it's just like, ugh. Even like, it's just me, Every you know, when I'm coming in, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> Which is always, it's always great to have that area. And then you have people just saying, you know, things like this particular client, you know, where, you know, she's been helped so much from it. And then others that just say, how come I didn't find you sooner? It's like, yeah. well. That's, that's a common thing. We had a lady uh, that was seeing an ear, nose and throat specialist for three months. Uh, things were so bad that she was scheduled for grommet surgery. She did four sessions, went back to the specialist and they went, it's all cleared up. You don't need surgery anymore. 
And as soon as she started telling them about salt therapy, he started getting all bored and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. yeah. They some people just think it's loopy, but I reckon just try everything. And the the other thing, just to give people a visual, when when you come in, you have the you put on these little booties, don't you? Um, so that it it's like it's all pure, it's all protected. People don't walk in with the shoes or anything. That you actually they have these little booties that they wear so that it's all kept clear and clean and and there's chairs in there that you can lounge in and lie down in if you want and yeah it's, and it's, it's really great for kids as well you know particularly you know you know we get to the cooler weather kids then start with their asthma croup all forms of respiratory like it's um you know and hay fever i mean south australia is you know known to be the worst state for allergies and hay fever um, and it's amazing. And the kids love it in there too because they go in there and they think it's their own little private sandpit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. And you can have music. You have music piped in there too, and then through through the different areas or vents, the, the salt is actually yeah. dispersed out, isn't it? So you can you can smell it, you can taste it, and, yeah, like, like being in the ocean, near the ocean. There's, there's a machine called a halo generator, and it grinds pharmaceutical grade salt. It's the purest form of salt that you can get. It's not, there's no caking agents or anything in it. Salt's antibacterial, so it has a cleansing effect on the respiratory system and the skin. Antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, natural decongestant. It does so many different things that benefits us and boosts immunity and just helps you to live life better. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. And now the other thing, other than the yoga classes and your dance classes and all the rest of it, you've got a flotation tank. Is that right? Yeah, we've got two. Two float tanks. Okay. So so with a float tank, are they the ones that you like you just lie in and it's full of full of salt, so you're quite buoyant in there and you, you enclose yourself in a capsule? Is that what it's like? Yeah. So um it's 350 kilos of Epsom salt. So if you picture your Epsom salt bath, but on mass, like on a huge grand scale, and um, that there is um, to replicate the Dead Sea effectively. So you are completely weightless in there. You don't have to hold yourself up. A great deal of our own energy is expended during the day just from holding ourselves up. So this is one hour where you get to just do absolutely nothing um, you can choose to have music on or off during your time it's great for meditating if you're somebody that likes to meditate it's great for um, muscle relaxation so when I was doing my training we were training six days a week and it was really full on when I was doing my bikini and fitness competitions and that's where I first found out about float therapy and its benefits so the magnesium in the salt was really great to help with that muscle rec recovery. So for people that are really heavily into their sports, um, you know, quite athletic, perfect way to um, really heighten their game, lift their game as well, better their performance. Because if your muscles are recovering a lot faster and a lot better, then you're able to, you know, lift heavier weights. You've got your, your, your body has regenerated enough to do what it needs to do in order to perform at your top you know, at your most top. So, so the water in the tank is average skin temperature. It's designed so that when you find stillness, you don't know where you end and the water begins. We've had some people who have had some pretty significant spiritual journeys. We had one lady who says, I went up and spoke to Gaia. We had another lady that says at the end of her float, she felt her soul go back in her body. Wow. Uh, the tanks down regulate you to such an extent that they drive out anxiety, they increase serenity levels, they lower blood pressure by 10 to 15 points. Massively, massively beneficial because cortisol levels lower, pain reducing endorphins and feel good endorphins all increase. And again, this is all the science from it. We know this because people have been uh, in, we've got blood tests, we've been able to look at the most minute detail of how the body reacts and changes. Yeah, and some people, athletes will use float tanks as part of their sports recovery. So you can have a look up at people like Tom Brady, um, yeah. Steph, Steph Steph Curry, the basketballer. Yeah. Any any of the kind of top US sports teams all have them as part of that rest recovery and sports visualization package. Yeah, yeah. And and Jim, you used to be a professional ice hockey player. 
I believe, as yes. well. Yeah, yeah. So you know all about this stuff, and of course, uh, uh, yeah, between the two of you, you, you really are doing, living your best life, doing exactly what you know how to do, aren't you, really? For sure. If only we knew the things back then that we know now. <laughs> I know. But, you know, then we wouldn't learn the lessons along the way, would we? Every <laughs> lesson. Yep, absolutely. And a company comes together, it forms, you know, all of our experiences, which brings us to this present day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, if it, wasn't, if it wasn't for me developing the conditions and having my life experiences that I had, the empathy and the compassion and the drive to help others not go through that or perhaps come out the other end quicker wouldn't be there. So it was all instrumental and same with Joe's journey. It's all yeah. instrumental to bring us here. And I suspect anybody that you've got that's a healer, we're all coming from that place where we just don't want to see other people suffering. And part of my journey as well, you know, the whole body image thing, the whole not feeling comfortable with being overweight for many, many years really stopped me from trying anything so you know one of the classes that we have at the business that's come from some of the stuff that i've done before um we call it flirty fridays so it's a ladies only monthly class that we do it's burlesque cabaret style and that's designed for ladies just to come in and let their hair down at the end of a work week um you know no dance experience needed it's just all about having fun in a safe environment no judgment whatsoever doesn't matter if you've got two left feet, 12 left feet, it doesn't matter. You know, we quite often have ladies coming in saying, oh, I don't know about this, I can't dance, and Whoa. and then halfway through, they're all over the shop. You think, you know, that you've put the spotlight on them and then there's music going on and they're having a whale of a time. And it's just so, it's so lovely to see the joy on their faces and the fact that they've tried something different. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter how old you are, it's for all ages as well. So yeah. You know, I really want to try that. Flirty, flirty Fridays. I really want to try that. <laughs> and it's a pretty much a social event because after the class, everybody goes across to the pub across the street and they yeah. connect as well. So there's more depth to it than yeah. other dance classes and things that you could go to. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank and you. Sorry? And feather bowers because you have to have feather. Yeah, can't, can't do burlesque and cabaret without feather bowers. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm just going to go to a question that Adair has uh, has asked. Thank you, Adair. She's asked, can you bring your own guided meditation for the float tank? And actually, probably also for the salt cave too, you can probably do that. Can you? Is that? Yeah, look, as long as it's got the kind of headphone plug that you would have on a phone, if we can plug it into that, that's how we connect it with the float tanks. We stream music from Spotify, uh, yoga and meditation music so yeah a lot of people uh, because the tanks help with accelerated learning as well we've had some people who have brought in study notes because when you down regulate the system it allows the learning process to go deeper quicker yeah perfect sounds amazing and, and Adair's commented she's coming back to Adelaide to try flirty Fridays okay Adair when you're back we'll do it together darling that's that's a date <laughs> <laughs> We might have to organise an enlightened tribe show there with forty five. Actually, that would be great. Yes, that would be great. Let's do it. And then <laughs> All right. Now, Joe, I believe that you, um, well, you both are involved with a fundraising. I'm just trying to love, hope, and gratitude foundation. Yep. So um, can you tell us a little bit more about that and your wanting to give back to the community and what that's about? Yeah, so last year we um, we really wanted to give back to the community and our goal was to find a charity that, um, that was basically doing it tough, so received no funding from anywhere, um, nothing from any governments or non-government age, just from absolutely nowhere and so we put a call out to the community and we were given um, the name of Love Hope and Gratitude Foundation so Glenn Scott amazing woman um, through her journey of domestic violence and through losing her own uh, two sons from um, from domestic violence has just done amazing things and she she's like the energizer bunny she is in her 70s she has 53 odd families that she looks after. Um, it's a foundation that's run 
by herself and a small group of volunteers. And through meeting her and hearing about her journey, we were um, we decided that we would like to choose her as our selected uh, charity to give back to the community for. And so we held our first fundraiser last year in September called Mosaics and Merlot. So she uh, runs uh, mosaic classes as well. So we did that at the studio. We will be doing a burlesque, burlesque and bubbles fundraiser where all of the money uh, received goes to the charity. So, Beautiful. Um, and this woman is just absolutely amazing. Glenn Scott was instrumental in having Australian law changed. That's how much of a big figure. I won't go into too much because, uh, but if anybody wishes to find out a story, if they just put the details in. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. I hadn't heard of her and I, that's very close to my heart, domestic violence. So I will look her up and find out some more information. Her main that. difference is too as well that it's it's adults, um, so it's women, children and their pets because quite often a lot of places don't have anywhere to uh, or don't even look after the pets, pets and quite often in a domestic violence situation the pets are left behind. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, she's an right. amazing woman. So, yeah, the Love, Hope and Gratitude Foundation, um, look them up on Facebook, uh, Instagram. They've got a website as well where you can donate um yeah so i do some voluntary work and jim helps out too um on top of the fundraising uh through our events as well that we do for her. beautiful thank you thank you for sharing that and the other thing that you do mentoring you're part of a mentoring program that you run as well so um weight loss and gut repair programs so i've um yeah so i've had my little pod of people that it's uh that I've helped through that and there've been some really amazing results and um, you don't have to be somebody that um, that smashes himself at the gym, it's just through natural wholesome foods. Um, so yeah, that's the great thing with that is you've got your own personalized mentor um, who can guide you through that journey and the added benefit that I have, of course, is that I can wholeheartedly say that I have experienced these emotions, um, it's not, just me saying that it's i do actually know the struggle is real <laughs> mm -hmm. so you know it's and and yeah. it's just wonderful when you when you hear that change of language because the, the hardest part is always starting and having yeah. that support network which we have is is so important um once you've got that and you've started it's um you know it's very simple to follow um, it's and the best part is is that it's it's through healing the gut. The gut is the brain center, the emotion center of the body. You know, so if our gut is out of whack, everything will be out of whack. And you know, it's yeah. the reason why so many of us, um, so many people suffer from so many health issues. Mm. So if we get back to the gut health and fix that, then we're well on our way to all round wellness. Brilliant. Well, wow, you got between the two of you just got so much going on. And and Jim, I'm going to come back to you now because you do the havening technique. Yeah, havening technique uh, helped me out a lot when I was at my darkest point. Yeah. Havening technique is a psychosensory technique that works on the amygdala. And it's basically about recreating biological and neurological pathways. So when we have trauma encoded in the body or in the brain, four things must happen. We must have an event, the meaning we give that event, then the mental landscape that we're bringing into it. And lastly, if we feel that's inescapable, that can be that one-off traumatic incident, a robbery, a mugging, or it can be that slow erosion of self from being in a relationship that's toxic for years and years. And once that trauma gets encoded in the amygdala, we have a thing called an amper receptor that glows out. So havening through delta waves, that allows for the amper receptor to become unglued. And then that troubling memory or those anxieties become just a thought that carries no chemical or physical charge on the body. So it's just like picking up a glass of water. It carries no meaning. We've had people with some pretty severe things that have happened to them in life. And they've gone out after period of time and they've gone 
yeah, when I think about that now, it just doesn't bother me. Wow. We, we take subjective units of distress. So one being the lowest, 10 being the highest, how much does this affect you? And as we go through the process, we actually check in with the client. So the client goes, well, I'm, I'm here, that's a 10. That really gets me there. So then we'll work on that and then we'll check back in. That's a six. Sometimes we can go from a 10 to a zero. Sometimes we can get down to a three and the client goes, you know what? With what happened in my life, I've been living a 10, but a three actually keeps me safe. A three yeah. makes me retain a little bit of that knowledge, a little bit of that power that they may have got from that incident. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. It sounds a little similar to um, EFT, emotional freedom technique, and the tapping and also access bars where it clears the... Um, those neurons and everything and clears out the head but yeah um i heard about havening technique originally from um paul mckenna the yeah. uh, famous hypnotherapist um yeah. and he does havening technique and yes yeah, swears by it as being just absolutely yeah. immediate results yeah. and, and, and i think that's the beauty of it isn't it the immediate results when people are just living at such a traumatic state yeah. um yeah, no, that's that's all from EFT. Basically, Paul McKenna had heard about tapping, and there's a neurobiologist and his brother Ron and Steve Rudin who have a practice in Manhattan, and they were all friends. So Paul McKenna had gone to them and says, "I've heard about this thing tapping. What do you think of it?" And they were a little bit skeptical, I think, is what I've heard. <laughs> so they thought, okay, but what they've done is they've they've been open minded enough that. They've gone through some of that with some clients, but with their knowledge of the brain and the brain's workings, they've thought there is definitely something here. How can we look at enhancing what we've already got and how can we look at quantifying this? So there's a brilliant book about it from Ron Rudin uh, about how that works. He's wrote a couple of great books, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a deep read to read all about it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm sure. But um, yeah, it depends on how much you like to soak up that information, which you would yeah. love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm an ad. Jim, Jim takes care of all the science based yeah. stuff. And I just go straight to the visual and I call it the cutting of the emotional umbilical cords, any fears, traumas, or anything like that. So, because people can visualize a, an actual cutting. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty amazing thing. Yeah, no, that that's awesome. I just, I, I think it's amazing what you've done. Um, you're an absolute blessing to South Australia. Um, and for anybody that can just pop in there and have a look, you're all welcome to go and, and check out Breathe, Stretch, Flow in Flinders Street in the city. Oh, we've got Reed, Reed has just come on here. Better late than never. Guess I'm listening to the replay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll be listening to the replay, but thanks for joining us. <laughs> she does always try and get on every week. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll have lots of people um, replaying the program. Um, thank you, Joe and Jim. Absolutely, absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much for having us, Sue. We really appreciate it. And we... We really love being part of the community and yeah, we'd, we'd love to see people come in, say hi and love to show them around and sit down, even have a cup of tea if they like yeah. to. Yeah, and we'll have an Enlightened Tribe event. We'll do an Enlightened Tribe event. We'll put it out there on the uh, Enlightened Tribe page and everyone can come along and we'll do the, uh, well, we might have to do Fridays. articles because the flirty Fridays are for the women, right? So if there's guys as well, we might need to do another. We'll talk about it off the we'll, 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 do, we'll do something, but um, if anybody would like to know the events that you've got coming up, because I know you've got a Valentine's Day event coming up too, um, they can go on to suesure.com.au and on the Global Wellness Directory or your website, your Facebook page, or contact you directly so you can go all over the place and, and find out about you. So um thank you once again and thank you to everybody who's listening either live now or on the replay and uh, yeah we'll be in touch thank you. thank you thanks everyone bye bye bye